What's going on everybody, I am the Bad Duck and you are the internet. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the witch, or as I like to call it, the witch, because the W isn't a W, it's two V's, because Old English is weird that way. And the witch is an important film to me. It's one of my favorites of all the time. I literally, in my letterbox, as much as that sounds, makes me sound like a nerd, is in my top four. It is a horrifying depiction of 1700s New England with a expertly made film, really. It's it's what I really want from a horror film in the end. As much as jump scares are fun at first, they get boring after rewatch, and overall, those films typically hit less. They don't stick with you for as long, while The Witch, as many people did not like it and I can easily see why it sticks with you it stuck with me for a long long time it still has and I was lucky enough to go see it in the theaters just this last week because of AMC hosting a bunch of A24 films including The Witch this last week and my god the theater experience is so much better than having to watch it at home which I did my first few times watching the film man that the I, I will always praise the theater for making a unique and special experience happen that you can't duplicate anywhere else even in your own theater at home whether that you mean you have surround sound or you have a normal tv you can't duplicate that what is in the theater that's why i always ask people to go see stuff in theaters because it's a bit much different experience and here it makes a ton of difference the witch is a hard film to grasp mostly because of the archaic english they use more like the king james type of shakespearean type language and it can be hard to understand what they're saying at times that's why subtitles often help if you're at home but once you watch it for the first time once you watch it for the second time whatever how long it takes you and you actually can watch it with the subtitles it becomes so much better you get so much more immersed into the haunting experience that the witch is and it, it i can't say more about that i can't praise more about the haunting experience it's not just scary it's it's haunting it it's it doesn't scare you outright it, it doesn't like make you jump or make you scream it just it it creeps on you and the witch does it so expertly through a its visuals it's very dark and dreary and gray for the most part and while that's typically bad in my mind i think here it works perfectly because it's the isolation of the family and the dark spirit over it whether that be whether that be black philip or the witch itself it, it, it creates this eerie feeling and it's even better when you see the witch at one point where she has this red cloak on her and it pops because of the color because uh, the way the colors are working and the cinematography in that way makes it perfectly the the bright the brightness of certain things like a fire that you don't see throughout the film towards the end of the film you see a fire and the like i said the red cloak and things like that the silver cup pop out much more when the, with the cinematography and how dark it's shot the writing is wow again like i said it can be very confusing can turn off a lot of people it once you get around it is expertly done it's a it's a family conflict of uh, distrust and manipulation and lying and and it's a, a, t a story of like growing up and having these ideas that aren't okay and getting around that and, and sinning really even like i i mean, know we talked about last week with saint maud the religious psychosis and here we don't have that as much but we have this like this distrust by god in is like a a, a central theme where like they betray god and now god is is betraying them it's a central theme to the, the story is religion the distrust in this this spiral of like chaos that begins to unravel not even like five minutes into the film. The film is very short. I, I forgot how short it was. It feels longer. It feels like a three hour movie because of how it's built up. The slow build, the burn, that it, it slowly creeps up to you. But the film is only an hour and a half long. And within five minutes, we start our spiral down into madness, really, because of the taking of Samuel at the beginning of the film that's by the witch. Or we 
the witch. We don't know if a witch exists until last 20% of the film we know of a witch existing. We all this could be a distortion of reality by our characters' isolation and their mixed feelings and their and their sense of foreboding dread with the the crops going bad and the their child going missing and they're they're outcasted by their community. It, it's a very lovely in, in a weird sense uh, tale of just chaos in the end it's it's a chaotic mess of a film in the most perfect and organized way uh Anatella joy gives an awesome awesome performance i i, I will always praise Anatella joy she's one of my favorite actresses working today this has been her first roles after a movie called morgan came out that i remember strangely enough because of the trailer never seen the film i might do a, i might do a review on that one the strikes end but uh anatella joy knocks it out of the park this is why she got thrown into the stardom not this and split threw her into that that's that limelight and she very much deserves all the loving that she gets because of how good she is as an actress and even here when she i think she was like 21 when she did this film um nearly a decade ago at this point and it's, it's just so wonderfully done and the actors sell everything not even the younger ones i mean the the two kids the, the twins are not so much they're they're kid actors i'm not gonna blame them but the uh, actor of caleb sells the ideas the, the 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 ideas about growing boy and and the uh sense of like responsibility that he puts on himself due to samuel going missing the crops going bad he he feels a responsibility to feed his family even though he is like well selling every I'm, I am using fucking wrestling terms right now oh my god he sells it to the audience about his possession by the witch when he's bewitched and that scene in the attic is just so perfect because of how chaotic it gets because of how crazy it gets and I it, everyone does well I, I can't I don't know the names of the mom and the father figure but they do it excellent. They, that's a that's a relationship you cannot duplicate on screen very much. It's it's a very hard thing to do, and they do it well and in archaic English. And it, it, it's masterfully done. Robert Eggers is best director's working today. He also did The Northman, did The Lighthouse. We'll talk about The Lighthouse later in this month. But Robert Eggers might be one of the masters of horror today, along with Jordan Peele and Ari Aster. And he started it right here, and with a fucking masterful film and again like i said it's one of my favorite films of all time and it, it also comes down to the details of everything not knowing that the archaic english which he wrote himself which is mind-boggling how he did that and also the fact of the matter that their clothes are period accurate that everything is period accurate and it's it's a it's a fantastic showing of 1700s new england and it's uh very well done it, a lot of props goes to the prop masters the the set builders everyone around that doesn't often get credit for what they do and they did perfectly here in this this isolated cabin in the woods that has been surrounded by a witch which also talking about the witch in black philip black philip is an awesome antagonist because we don't know if he's real for literally 99 percent of the film and some people don't remember that he's real then because of the wild circumstances that take place that being a figure that kind of just begins the spiral and it in, ex accelerates the spiral even uh, towards the end of the film it's just a masterful done antagonist and the, the witch itself isn't really an antagonist in, in a way it's more just a being that starts the film and continues the continues the progression of this madness of the family that continues to go on i can't praise this film more because the film is literally i believe is a, is the closest thing to a masterpiece you can get to like i don't i don't really believe in 10 out of 10s because there's no film that's perfect there's no weaknesses like like i said i believe the kid actors the twins were a weakness in the acting department but everywhere else it's nearly perfect if not perfect but this is as close as you get and if you have not watched it, please just watch it at home with subtitles on. I know it's hard to understand the people speaking, but subtitles really do help. And um, it, it's literally one of the greatest horror films in the last decade, if not in la in since the millennial turn, if not ever, in my opinion. Because it, it, there's nothing wrong with this film. 
Uh, and I always recommend it. And I know it's really weird to recommend a film that not a lot of people are going to understand. And it makes me really sad if people don't understand it because of the archaic English. But I, I feel like it makes it even better. The film is so well done because of how close it pays attention to the history, the, the language, the, the, the folklore of the era and the time being. And when I walked out of the theater um, this last week, people were asking, "Was the was the mama was um, the mama witch? Was she bewitched?" And the, I love those type of things where people get to like to think about the film afterwards. They talk about the film afterwards. I mean, no offense to people who watch like MCU films all the time, but when's the last time a super fil superhero film made you think? I love superhero films, but like, when's the last time I made you just sit there and think about the film? longer than you were in the theater it made you go oh that's awesome but last film that I ever the last cbm besides across the spider-verse to make it feel like that I, I can't even remember this one while it's an art house film and it's a, in the end and a lot i know that a lot of people don't like that and also makes you think it makes you think about and ponder about every single thing that happened in the film the spiral of madness and in the end, and I think that's what a film should do. It should make you think. It should make you scared, because um, this is haunting. The the orchestra, oh my god, the the, the soundtrack or what or the score, whatever you call it, is haunting as hell. It, that that shit stays with you for a while. The the haunting screams and moans um, of the the soundtrack are mm, chef's kiss. But yeah, like the, the film makes you think in all sorts of ways, and I. That's what a good horror film should do. It should make you think. It should make you scared of what's in the darkness, what's in the woods of your local area. Um, and I, I love this film so fucking much. Um, if you haven't, I try not to give it as much of it away as possible. Just because I the film the film is that great that you should check it out yourself. I, and if you got spoiled a little bit, um, check still check it out. Like seriously, like the film is so well done that you can maybe even come out with different. A, pain, a, a different opinion than, than me. A B, you'll come out with a different theory than I do. And three, you might come out just like loving more film than usual. And that, that's what film should do. Make you love film more than you already did. And I, I, lo I love this film for doing exactly that for me. Um, but that's going to be all for this video. I don't know what's going to be next week's video or our review. Um, I have a few films I'm kind of like going through i'll let you guys know on twitter you should all follow me there and um i'm keeping you guys updated on tiktok with the sag strike and as well as uh, i do a little bit of wwe stuff there and um uh, remember to subscribe it's always free and uh merch is in the description below and i'll see you guys next week whatever a24 horror film we decide to cover that next week i'll see you guys then Bye bye